Hey everyone, welcome aboard and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to talk about one of the most legendary franchises of all time with a legendary captain, legendary boats. Today we're going to talk about Pirates of the Caribbean and the anecdotes behind all of these movies. So between what I knew and what I did not know, come aboard the Black Pearl Sailor. You know what, let's dive right into some anecdotes, let's go. So let's start with number one. At the end of filming, on a night return trip, the boat that was carrying uh, Kira Knightley uh, hit a reef and eventually sank. So at that moment, the movie franchise nearly uh, lost its lead actress. But fortunately for everyone and for the three people on board, Kira Knightley, her mother and the captain of the boat, everyone was safe. No one was injured. That was a little one to just get us started. So let's get into anecdote number two, which is a way friendlier one than the first one. For a scene uh, in a coconut grove, 773 coconut trees were harvested to prevent the heavy fruits from falling onto the actors. But what did they do with all these coconuts, you might ask? Well, they were given to the local residents of the island. No waste allowed on Pirates of the Caribbean. Now number three, this is one of the most famous anecdotes around Pirates of the Caribbean, but the legendary uh, and iconic character of Jack Sparrow, made by Johnny Depp, he was actually inspired by Keith Richards for the role. Keith Richards being a member of the Rolling Stones, of course. And we can say that it worked pretty well because he took inspiration from Keith Richards and became one of the greatest pirates of all time. And of course later on, Keith Richards came onto the set of Pirates of the Caribbean to play Jack Sparrow's dad. Now number four, just a little geography lesson, where uh, all these movies were actually filmed. There were uh, five principal islands, uh, Kauai, uh, Oahu, Puerto Rico, uh, Palomino, and a part in Great Bit and a part in Great Britain as well, although of course was not tropical. Now number five, we're going to talk about Pirates of the Caribbean 4. We can see Penelope Cruz, but what you may not know was that she was pregnant while filming this movie, but that didn't stop her from of course doing a lot of action scenes. But eventually after doing a lot of stunts herself, they decided to take in a stunt double for Penelope Cruz, but the directors asked themselves who would be a great idea to replace Penelope Cruz as a stunt double, and they took none other than her sister, Monica Cruz. Now number six, when it comes to filming in great settings and in great islands, just great locations, there's always a, a risk of bad weather. And of course it was the case for the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. During the filming of the third movie, the producers had to deal with uh, three hurricanes and were forced to evacuate the filming scenes. That was in the Bahamas and it lasted over 10 days. Now number seven, when uh, Kira Knightley arrived on the filming of the movie Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, Kira Knightley still had very short hair, which she of course doesn't have in the movie. But it was her style after filming the movie Domino. And all the hair that we can see on Kira Knightley, as her character of Elizabeth Swan, was actually hair in <coughs> <coughs> Now number 8 and last anecdote, it was a simple one but it could have been tragic even though everything well went well. But on September 10th of the year 20... 2002 if I remember correctly, a fire uh, broke out on the set of Pirates of the Caribbean, the Curse of the Black Pearl. So of course, uh, fortunately no one was injured even though there were a lot of people on set at that moment. But the material um, damages amounted to approximately $350,000. It could have been way worse but it was a sort of on-set anecdote. Well, that's it for the eight anecdotes behind Jack Sparrow, Captain Jack Sparrow. I hope you learned a few things. It was great seeing you here. I'm going to rewatch them, try to reenact some old memories. See you very, very soon, sailor. Have an amazing day. I'm sure you will. Bye-bye.